Today we'll show you how we make our pig food. So we're we'll get the tractor ready to make pig feed here. Um, things that we need to do is get the blade off, get the draw bar back on, because I can't have the, the uh, blade on with the draw bar at the same time and won't swing around. But one of the important things to remember to do in the winter time is put diesel conditioner in when it's really cold. Anti-gel is your friend. We'll throw a little of this head here too. We had the 2840 starting to gel up the other day, so don't want to get caught off guard. So the draw bar just slides in underneath and clips in. Normally, we grind pig feed with the 2840, but since the snowblower is on that, and you saw how much of a pain that can be taken on and off, we just have a little bit of grinding to do today, so we'll use the 2240. So we'll go ahead, take the blade off, put the grinder up. So hooking up the PTO shaft on this one, you have to, you can see where you need to line it up. And in order to do it, sometimes you have to turn the whole flywheel on the grinder in order to get the shaft to turn enough to line up. Sometimes I have to resort to spinning the PTO on the tractor. But usually if I can get this to move just enough, So this is our Oatana feed mill. We've had it for about four, uh, maybe five years. We've had to replace one bearing, otherwise it's been a good grinder for us. Uh, what it does is it, uh, you put whatever you're going to, going to be putting as your raw product in the front, and then it has a hammer mill that grinds it. We have different size screens that you can put in it in order to change uh, how it's grinding. Then it augers that back, and this is a giant mixer. So you can add in minerals and other things. So we'll go through how we do this. The uh, milk can be run either without the grinder running or with it grinding. There's a, um, a pin you push in here to lock the grinder in. So we'll show you the insides of the mill here. Essentially there is this screen that everything needs to get pushed through in order to be made into there and in here there's the hammers that spin and knock against the screen real fast and that's how it, it knocks it and hammers apart the wheat and the oats and everything into our final feed. So this mill, I believe, is probably made around 1980. It's an Oatana 420. Um, things that it doesn't have that would be really nice is a way to weigh your feed inside of it. 
uh, so you know how much you're adding without measuring it ahead of time. What we do is I figured out how much a bucket full of this or that is weighs, and I'll show you that in a second. So we know how much we're putting in of each ingredient just by the amount of a bucket full. So what we're making today is our basic pig feed. And if you can, I don't know if this will show up or not on the screen, uh, but I, it shows me for a what I consider a full grind, I'd put in 1,200 pounds of wheat, 500 pounds of oats, 275 pounds of field peas, and uh, 40 pounds of buckwheat. And that would give me a total weight of the with the mineral and salt of 228 or 2,028 pounds, of which that comes down to 300 pounds of protein containing product based on the average protein content, content for each thing I'm grinding. And also allows me to figure out my cost, uh, a rough cost based on the averages I pay. And then it gives me a final percent protein, which just comes out to a 14.8%, which is a uh, finisher uh, or uh, uh, non-feeder pig uh, ratio. I have a different one that gives me a 16% for that. We, we find that the buckwheat is the key ingredient. As you see, there's no corn or soy in our grind. So I have our bucket full grilled in it. And you can see I have a hole drilled here and a hole drilled here. The higher one will give me 20 pounds of uh, oats uh, and wheat approximately. If I fill to that level, the lower one gives me 25 pounds of buckwheat when I scoop the buckwheat in. So we'll run through demonstrating how we fill this um, and uh, what we, uh, how we go through the process of making the feed. So, next we have field peas, and we've already measured out what we need into this bin here, so we're just going to put the whole thing in. Next we need to put the wheat in. Here in our grain bin we keep wheat that came from our own field. We'll put 600 pounds of this in for this mix, and Micah's going to shovel it towards the door here so I can scoop it out into the otter and pull it over to the grinder. In the summer we just drive right over to here but it's easier to do this right now. All right, here comes bucket number one. All right, that's 15 buckets. So we'll go put this one through the grinder. Okay, so now we've got it over here, and we know we've got uh, 15 buckets full in here. Uh, and so uh, we will. Uh, put that through the grinder and we'll go back and put another 15 buckets in here.
So the final step before emptying it is adding the mineral and salt. Uh, in the mixtures that we're doing, we do, uh, if we're, for a full grind, we do 10 pounds of salt and three and a half, or three pounds of the mineral. Since this is only a, a half grind that we have in uh, done today, uh, we will uh, add uh, five pounds of salt and one and a half pounds of the mineral. What I found is that this green cup here is exactly one pound per scoop. So put in five of these. Five of those and a little more than one and a half of these. And what we have here is just plain old salt. And then this is a swine grower. So this is for the feeder pigs. Uh, and not for the uh, pregnant or nursing moms. Uh, and we found this to be a good, uh, nice mineral mix that we use. So now we'll fire up the grinder again and mix this in before we empty it out. So in order to add the mineral, we dump it in back here. Sucked in and then mixed in. I'm gonna get a little bit of all seeds as I mix that in. Pull in the salt. it right into our bag. And this thing is greatly reduced the amount of dust we have to deal with. So 
this is what we would call a half grind on our recipe card. Um, since we're down to just two hogs to be feeding, uh, this two, I only did a half on this. And that's how we make pig feet. And dog food. Can dad get the trailers in with the grinder on the back and the stock trailer on the front? can back up two trailers at a time. <laughs>